My name is Brian Sutton. I'm in period F and the date is 3814. My project was on what is the difference between the Richter and Mercalli scale. And as you can see on the left, we have a Richter scale. And it's measured in numbers. And one is like no damage, insignificant. And 10 is like a lot of damage, like everything's destroyed. And we on the right, we have a Mercalli scale. And it's measured in Roman numerals. And I is like not felt like no damage, similar to one on the Richter scale. And XII is like total damage, um, similar to 10 on the Richter scale. And so they both measure earthquakes, but they uh, measure in a different way. The Mercalli scale measures like observations from the earthquake, so like damage to buildings and stuff like that. And then the Richter scale measures the magnitude of the earthquake, so like the energy released by it. So they both measure earthquakes, but um, measure different things about the earthquake. All right, here's my presentation. I'm going to tell you about some scales and I'll explain the details. We got the Richter and Mercalli and they aren't the same and you probably don't know that. So that's a shame. So I'm kind of glad you came. We got the Richter. It's the most desired to get the magnitude of a quake. It is required. It came about in 1934 and I am sure. It was invented by Charles F. Richter and it tells us the facts, it's not the predictor. It's based on a logarithmic scale and it measures things that are bigger than a whale. You measure quakes by using numbers 1 to 10. If a city gets hit by a 10, you won't see it again. It's calculated by using a seismograph. I'm being serious, so don't even laugh. Next, we got the Mercalli. You probably think it's stupid, but I'll make you love it. Call me Cupid. It was invented in 1902, and that's not false. It is true. It measures the effects caused by a quake, like the damage on the buildings, not a rake. You measure by using all numerals. rules. If it's an XII, there will be some funeral rules. It's only useful for a populated area, so you could use it in Bulgaria. Two scales both measure earthquakes, but they have a different measuring technique. They are very different and unique. You probably just got smarter, so now you're a geek.